we certainly expect a lot of quality from both teams whether in a yellow jersey or in a purple of course the man is for the winning goal so to speak a deflected effort he was the one who took the shot Nathan Thomas he's now wearing the captain's armband in the absence of Kasim Priestley who unfortunately won't be able to play uh, the final game of the season yeah very unfortunate for him Clarendon College with 15 wins out of 16 games played this season just the one loss which came to against Charlie Smith in the in the Champions Cup 66 goals for and six against and uh, Kingston College they have 15 wins from 18 games one loss as well which came against St. Elizabeth Technical in the Champions Cup and two draws to their name 70 goals for and eight against so both teams have shown great things at the attacking end but also from the defensive end as well Clarendon College have kept 10 clean sheets this season and Kingston College 11 so good balance in both these teams Brave against the Perseverance. That's what this matchup is all about as a battle for the All Ireland Olivier Shield. Grants are about 60% full at the moment, Chris Taylor. <laughs> of course, different scenes for the Manny Cup final uh, last week, Friday, where the bleachers were open. Are you using an abacus or a calculator? I have no idea what an, an abacus is, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much shows up your age. <laughs> Just a, a shot of Nikhil Daly. He's going to be the year marksman. 21 goals to his name so far. Nikhil Daly tied with uh, Ronaldo Webster of St. Elizabeth Technical on 21 goals. Could go further ahead. Yeah, yeah. really impressive season. It, it, it has been. For the Clarendon number 16. Mm -hmm. You certainly like to add. A few more to that repertoire of goals that he's put together, or catalogue, I should say, this season. And Kingston College will probably try to learn from Caldwell's mistakes in terms of how to mark Nikhil Daly and maybe not get too tight and allow him to roll you. Dr. Bernard. Of course, the head coach of Kingston College. He wants his All Ireland Olivier Sheen title. Kingston College definitely hopes to build a dynasty from this after being starved of Manning of Silverware for over three decades. And the two captains, Tajay Brown for Clarendon College on the left, and as I said, Nathan Thomas. On the right, kicks and comes. Tyrone Robinson will be in charge of today's game. And uh, he'll be assisted by Stephanie Dale Yising, recently back from the FIFA Under 17 Women's World Cup, where she would have officiated in the final. This is the starting lineup for Clarendon College, the Nacostic of Champions. Of course, the Fire Chambers would have received a red card in the Nacostic final, so he won't start in goal. Also, uh, Cork is between the sixth in front of. Kim Earl Simpson, Sanjay Williams, Duran Panthen, Tajay Brown, the skipper, Kenmore Stada, Javin Ellis, Lamar Walker, Roger Granville, Ricardo McIntosh, and Nikki Daly, of course. 
And this is how they will set up in a 4-3-3 formation. Stoddard playing in front of the back four. Sanjay Williams, impressive centre-back wearing a number 12. But Nicky Udele will lead the line. Look out for him. And Ricardo McIntosh is on the 20 national teammate as well. And Lamar Walker will probably be bringing the energy and pulling the strings within the middle of the park. This is the Kingston College starting lineup. Nathaniel Francis is between the six in front of him. Jamal Cusin, Tremaine Simpson. Shaheem Edmonds and Ronaldo Banks, of course, replaces uh, Cassie Priestley in the starting lineup. Shaquille Smith, Jabari Morrison, Scott McLeod, Nathan Thomas, Dwayne Atkinson, and uh, Onico Allen. Seems as if there was a late change there with Dwayne Atkinson coming in instead of Trayvon Reed. Just going to have to confirm that, but we had Trayvon Reed initially in the starting lineup. But he, there may have been a late change. He's on the field. He's on the field? He's on the field as well. All right, so it's actually Trayvon Reed in the starting lineup instead of uh, Dwayne Atkins. So, so we're ready for the start of this one. And we're raring to go here at the National Stadium. Clarendon College with the kickoff. They'll be kicking towards uh, the Caribbean Sea and Kingston Harbor. Kingston College in a full purple will be kicking towards the hills. Again, I'm a person expecting exhibition football here, and it's a running theme with changing the ball early in the match because of the it's not being hard enough for proper football to be played. But yeah, a lot of persons expecting almost exhibition football. No, doesn't have quite the feel of an Arnold Star game. Definitely a game where teams are more comfortable in ex expressing themselves. There's Lenny Teacher High, technical director of Clarendon College. Of course, the Liberty Shield in previous years would have been over two legs, home and away, for either team. But uh, it has been a, a one leg playoff since 2014. The skipper of Clarendon College putting in a challenge from early, and there is Dr. Bernard, head coach of Kingston College. Try to set on his best starting 11. I'm not sure if it's still a mystery, even at the end of the season, though. Kings of College's best starting 11. It shows the depth of your squad. Well, that's college. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Shamar Morrison did score in that really impressive free kick at Sabina Park against St. Elizabeth Technical. It wasn't a losing cause, but that actually what John brought KC level at one apiece. Yeah, that was in the, the Champions Cup at Sabina Park, yeah? yeah. They eventually lost on penalties, but very really impressive free kick from him in that game. Nicky Udeli using his hand there. And he's going to be a free kick to Kingston College. 21 goals to his name, Nicky Udeli. And he's going to take a look at the restrictions on the play. So he's going to control it with his hand here. There's a bit of, bit of a tug on the defender's shirt as well. Is more than double than anybody else in both squads in the queue daily. 21 goals. Oh Allen and Reed have 10 apiece for Kingston College, and so do Walker and McIntosh yeah. for Clarendon.
Casey on the chance with Shaquille Smith on the byline. Trying to put it back, looking for Morrison. Trayvon Reed, the number 10 with 10 goals. Walker. Rumble the ball. Nick Daly. Not a bad first touch. Skips by Nathan Thomas. Daly. <laughs> it's a real tug of war there. <laughs> I like it. I really do like it. The attitude of Nicky Daly. Yeah, but you would like this kind of marking as well, Nicky Daly. Likes when defenders get close to him. Yeah. Actually, Actually I think much, it, yeah. Everton was really close in that case. Sir. Both look like they were trying to exchange jerseys. I would like to think from Edmund, Edmondson's perspective, it might be better just to take a step away and allow Daly to turn and face you. He's, he's actually the kind of thought that that could work in your favour. And it happened on several occasions against Cornell College in the Cup final. Yep. Hyman, the guilty part. Yeah. On, on, every, as well, on he? every single occasion, he was, he was beaten. Thank goodness they had Calvin Gardner. <laughs> Here's Trayvon Reed. Saw Teddy Brown and promptly turned back. Trying to be skillful on that occasion. Didn't quite work. Here's Nikki Daly. All alone for now. He doesn't go to the ground for purpose, Nikki Daly, I can tell you that. flag from the assistant. Central referee didn't see anything doing either. It will be that kind of battle. They certainly will be very aware of the danger of Daly. On assuming pace as well, Daly doesn't seem the quickest. With a shift of body weight. Excellent. Chavez Ellis. Give this tip for some work to do to Jay Brown. He retrieves. Looking for the options now. Walker trying to get the slight touch over to the right hand side where Roger Granville was waiting. He was looking for the throw, doesn't get it. Big luck for Kingston College as well that year. Regular captain and stalwart on the 20 representative Cassie Priestley is not in the starting lineup. Very unfortunate. You think that he'd be watching the game for wherever he is. Good evening, Mr. Priestley. Rick Adam Mackey just going to keep that one in play for Clarence College. Because he's actually on the bench, the same Priestley. So he is actually literally watching the game. He has a bigger screen. He was having some chest issues and had to go to the doctor for a spell today, I believe. But yeah. He has rejoined his squad and has taken his place on the bench. There he is. He is well, inside Harry Rogers. Well, he's somewhat blocked at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a shot of him. <laughs> Can't with the throw. Daly was going one way, the throw went the other. Harry Rogers, on the other hand, did some damage to his ankle as well in the Manicom final. 
he's going to he's going to uh, resume training, of course, for the track and field season in January, which is a uh, well, it's actually a bit belated. It's actually uh, belatedly for track and field. It's starting training in January. This is Fusey. Too much on the cross. If that actually happens in January, though based on the fact that he did dislocate his arm. So, I would say in terms of time away, he might be a little bit more than that. But good to see him here supporting the, his Kingston College team as well, sitting on the bench with them, Aaron Rogers. There he is in the white. Yeah, he's the one on the foot up. <laughs> the side of him, of course, has seen Priestley to his left. Dwayne Atkinson, who we were wondering about earlier, he was actually starting, he was there beside me. You know, it wouldn't be the first time that they snuck him in late in the starting yes, lineup, Dwayne yes, Atkinson. Yes. So we're kind of pretty used to it, yeah. actually. Mackie just picks it up with his for at Carlin College. He finds Granville. Granville couldn't get it further up the field. He's also been in the starting lineup, and there's been a late change where he's come <laughs> out as well. So he's had those kind of days. Of course, he has won a trophy for Kingston College now at every level. I think he has at least two more years to go with Wayne Kingston. He's won Pepsi on the 14th level. He's won at Coles on the 16th level. And of course, last week he would have won the Manning Cup. So it's really a new breed of KC superstars now, led by one Dwayne Atkinson. Definitely one for the future. Yeah, I'm sure. At some point today, he will be on this turf. There's a number 13, just like Lamar Walker there. He's an impressive player himself for Carolina College, Lamar Walker. It was a big surprise to many that he didn't travel to Florida with the National Under-20 team. I think he would have fit in very well. Panton to take the free kick for Charlotte College. He's had a really good season too, Panton. Delivered the ball that found Lamar Walker's head in the final for the winner against Cornwall College. That would have been difficult. <laughs> exactly. Shot from distance is well wide of the target. Ronaldo Bats who replaces the scene previously in the starting lineup. He gets his first effort. first gear as yet. As Walker switching the play to Granville. Nicky Daly on his left foot trying to beat his marker. Panton comes up. Three players inside the box of Clarendon College. And KC will come away. Onika Allen. I haven't seen a lot of him on the ball but he can invite a lovely ball to Trayvon Reed over on the left hand side. And uh, he tries to go into second gear. And then Sante Williams came into the fourth. Thomas trying to get a foot on that one. And again, Walker nips in. Pusey, poor ball and trying to find Donny Allen. Was there a handball there? Oh, 
Brian Simpson. Hampton back to Simpson. Sanjay Williams. Isaiah Brown on a run to Granville, trying to find the back Brown. Lamar Walker picks it up. Brown, Walker. Last touch of Walker. Walker looking for the free kick. Obviously, it should have been a free kick. Nikki Taylor picks it up. Fight an interception there at the last minute. Shaheem Edmondson getting a foot in there. Denying Nikki Taylor. Turns it well again, Nikki Taylor. Just close down. Good touch by Edmondson. One part of Nicky Udele's game that I saw in the final I thought he could have done a little better one is his timing in terms of when to shoot. First point of pick of the game, in the 16th minute, it goes to Clarendon College with Lamar Walker to deliver. It's not a bad delivery. And, uh, well, McIntosh, I believe, got a head there and there was a reflection as well. So, it's another corner kick. It's an excellent delivery into the business area. Good trajectory, good pace as well. Handled well by Kingston College. Yeah, but the bounce in the right place there. Panther is going across to take this one. The last time you did that, we know what happened. Yep. And Walker is in the six yard box once more. Here's the delivery again over mm -hmm. Walker's head. <laughs> and this time, no problems here for Nathaniel Francis. Doesn't handle that well. It's a big chance for Nika Allen. Allen tripped up on the edge of the box. Free kick to Kingston College. And the yellow card will come out, I believe. Yep. Jabel Ellis gets shown the yellow card. Not in his usual position, Jabel Ellis was but hanging back because of the corner. His big centre backs were forward. And exposed. Didn't do well with that head. And luckily for him, that was outside of the box. Deserving yellow card. Well, it took one for the team. Now, who's going to take the free kick for the team? I wouldn't be surprised if it's Trayvon Reed. He does have the ability for the dead ball. Reed, this is a good position for him as well. Jamar Morrison is thinking about taking it with his left foot as well. Fan to the right foot of Reed from here. And here he is, Trayvon Reed. Steps up to shoot off the bar. That was close for Kingston College. They'll come again. Reed again. The crossbar smash up. And the flag goes up for offside. Smasher, wasn't it? And yeah, he was outside. Try to get back into the outside position. That proved to be unsuccessful. There you go. Great technique from Trayvon Reed with right foot. Just aiming for the far corner from the angle. Certainly had the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper beat Thompson. In a court, sorry. Very unfortunate. No more these players. Both teams would have made our four kicks for the all-manning and all-the-cup-to-cup 11. 
which you'll get a glimpse of a little bit later on. Or eat the fish if you Yeah. <laughs> the squad. Do you look like to make any substitution? <laughs> Walk up and up. We have some space to work with. Drag him to his deck. He decides to go for goal. And it's right at the target. He saw the goal open up. Lamar woke up. Hide it. His eyes did light up. The break up in play by Walker. Good skill to drop the shoulder and cut inside with the right foot. Here it is. Advanced beaten. Good try. Comfortably wide in the end, but good at it. Walker again. Granville. Walker. Granville run into space. Walker decided not to pass to him. Missed opportunity there. Now he tries to get Granville to think of things. And then the shot from distance. Uh, Ricardo Macri just didn't have a better power in it. Oh, it was it the Jabir Ellis with the effort? That was Ellis. He scored a great goal in the semi final of the Decasta Cup Chapel. And this there he is. Nice individual goal. Showed great composure. A lot more composure than he showed on that folly a while ago. But really good goal it was in the 17th. Monika Allen. Allen does well. Allen trying to stab it through. There's a shot deflected over. Morrison. Wait, I did say it was a deflection, it wasn't. Hmm. Morrison known for the ability on his left foot here is Anika Allen. He hasn't seen a goal since the first round, Anika Allen. And Morrison well. Here we go. There was no deflection of that at all. Right foot, not of the same talent. Could that he still went for it? Well off. I think you have to retake it because the touch was taken from inside the area. Of course, when you take a goal kick, the touch has to be outside of the 18 yard box, or it has to be retaken. It's probably a little bit looking there as well. They were on the pressure in the defensive third. Morrison again on his drama left on this occasion. Pusey can't get the end of Panther. This matchup is one that we could see as well in what you mentioned. Panther. You're right. <laughs> It took over as way to see you. Yes, yes. To that young brain of yours. <laughs> yeah, that all money went all the past club. Starting with 11 as well as squad. Interesting. Of course, it's just our opinion as we take a look at the possession plan. The college was the majority, 52% at the moment. Of course, the views expressed by Chris Taylor and myself, but necessarily those of Sports Back Television. <laughs> Here's Spanton with a little space to work with. Three players inside the box to aim for. Rifle that one inside the box and it's cleared away easily. Who knows? After the tweets and IG messages and so on, that might work against it. <laughs> It all depends on the response, sir. <laughs> Walker will get the corner kick. I believe that's a third corner kick for Clarendon College. We well, don't usually put Casey supporters on quiet in the same sentence, but alas. They might still be worse from last week. Maybe. <laughs> corner kick to CC. Delivered at the back post. Not the most convincing chance from Ronaldo Bats. Of course, Kingston College have won triple 
the amount of Olivia Shields. Clarendon have. They have nine Kingston College. Two of those nine were shared. In 1981, they shared with Dintil. And in 1985, they shared with Rossies. Clarendon College, they have three. 1977 and 78. Those marvelous teams of which their coach Lenny Hyde was a part of. And Winston Chung Fa was their coach. They also won in 1998. And they shared that Olivia Shield with, with the noon. Mika Allen on the board. Allen just won in support. Almost as if he lost every bit of confidence there and just lost possession of Mika Allen when he realized that he didn't have the score that he would have liked. Mickey Daly not satisfied with the service of that occasion. Or probably wasn't satisfied with the fact that the referee didn't see the infringement. Whichever one, take your pick. Now, of course, the more that defenders win the battle, the more frustrated he will get. Nick Hugh Daly, from a defensive perspective. Oh, lovely football! Morrison with the pass, but Trayvon Reed is outside. Almost. Almost for Pickford College just now. One of the rare times you have got inside the 18 yard area of Kingston College. Oh, no. He was onside. He was onside. Good pass by Jamari Morrison, this time with the talented left boot. He did have it covered though, Alston Cork. He came out as a substitute in the final. And Tafari Chambers was sent off for handling the ball outside of his 18 yard here. Looked very nervous when coming on Alston Cork for maybe the first 10 minutes. And it settled down really well. And that has continued into this game as well. Those 10 minutes were really long for him. Had a very lucky incident where the ball actually went under his foot when he was trying to control it. Luckily for him, there wasn't enough pace on the ball and it didn't go over the, the goal line. line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Morrison again trying to find the ring. Just last step to Nathan Thomas. Sliding challenge coming from Sanjay Williams. Referee deemed it to be illegal, mainly because of the follow through. Yep, caught in there. We catch him, Shaquille Smith. Trayvon Reed Thomas trying to get that shot in. He was nowhere near it. Looking for the free kick, Casey. Wasn't coming. Here's Lamar Walker running into the space. Walker. Walker can't believe that the call wasn't made. Thomas. Out of the reach of Morrison on that occasion. Ooh! Either brilliant or lucky. Smith looks up and it's put over the ball by Anik Allen. Massive chance. So Kingston College once more. Very low on confidence in front of goal and equal Allen of recent <laughs> 10 goals in the season, none since the first round. And a strike of confidence would have slotted that nicely into the back of the net. And you could see his shoulder slump after he missed that. Very disappointed with that effort. Good work by Shaquille Smith to pick him out at the far post and should have at least been hitting the target for Nico Allen. 
has been good in terms of the link up play on Igor Allen, but just has that clinical ability lacking from his game at the moment. Formerly of Monroe as well, on Igor Allen. It's quite prolific for them as well. Would have come to kick some post to win silverware. Of course, would have helped them do that. There is on the ball the number nine, on it's out there. But surely he would have been disappointed that he hasn't been on the score sheet since the first round of the Manning Cup. as well just unable to keep it down Yeah. 
winner of the Manning Cup versus the winner of the Lacoste Cup. Tennis. And what was just the run stopped by Nathan Thomas. Thank you. That Stoddard was fouling Morrison. And the play was pulled back. Kingston College pressing now. Walker picks it up easily. Crossfield pass, not the best defending. And Lowen had any chance, and that was always going wide. I think that Brown showed the best piece of defending from the wing back position and made it easier for Anika Hanley. Just getting too inside of the ball, misjudging the flight of the pass. And then their half chance. Shaquille Smith. Morrison, Allen, robbed by Lamar Walker. Granville, robbed by Banks, wins it back. Nick Utele, nice turn, almost got by a second challenge. McIntosh throw ball from him, trying to win it back. Kings and Palso, they have possession. The game picking up a, a little bit. With just over seven minutes to go in the first half. Walker. Tripped up there. Free kick. Not to his defensive game this season to make him an even more all round player. The number 13 for Clarence College picks up the free kick here. May just take it himself, too. Panton is also there. is also there. Actually, he's the only one behind it. Ricardo McIntosh.
He may be looking for the blast off. Ricardo Makita drills it wide. Attempt at all by Ricardo Martintosh. Lots of pace behind it, but not the direction. Which I suspect is primary. Very good at the talented cricketer as well, Ricardo Martintosh has played for Jamaica at the under 15 level. He's converted into a opening batsman as well. Can Wiki keep? Even though. Ricardo Martintosh. Even though. Side, away, and he stands clear. No, he does. Well, it wasn't he fortunate. Walker now goes on a run. Walker has the QJ in front of him. Walker may go alone, and it's worth talking it again. Walking well again, Walker. Good play by him. Good pace. Good energy by Lamar Walker. And he's doing a lot of work in the middle of the park, Lamar Walker. Here he has just took it in stride well. Blue centre of gravity goes very well, Walker. Good triple off the ball. He just couldn't get his foot around it to get that shot on target, but certainly causing problems for the Kingston College midfield and defence. It's been a muted response from both sides of spectators. This evening they are here. You can't say they've been the most vocal so far. I haven't had a lot of cheer about, to be honest. Thomas threads it to Reed. Reed sends it inside the box, not the best clearance. Now it's hacked out of the area. CC with it. Daly, wonderful first touch to get by his marker. Daly inside the box. Daly trying to get by a second challenge and couldn't. And he didn't have enough reinforcements as well. Smith gets the return ball from Morrison. Smith trying to get by a third challenge. William is there again. Sanjay Williams has been excellent. Walker. Ball giving up to Trayvon Reed. Morrison. Scoops it over the top. Stood behind by TJ Brown, the captain of Clarendon College. We've seen a lot of selfish play in the game today, and that has almost killed the momentum of the forward passes and the movement of the ball as well. So, not as high quality as also, it seems to be. Of the game is quite low at the moment. Yeah, it's pretty pedestrian, isn't it? But you did see, you've seen over the years from time to time where the Olivia Shield can't produce this kind of the, the excitement, the heavy excitement, certainly about the actual money and the cost of That's a major hurdle that you want to get over. And then here you will. You still want to win it, but obviously the energy levels are different. I always think that all Allen champions should have a nice ring to it. Why would your energy level be down? And this is as historical as the weight in that person would have put under the cost of the so I'm, I'm sure if you ask many persons in the school, they might not know how many Olivia Shields Clarendon College have won, but they certainly will know how many the cost of the they have titles they have won. And same for the money Cup. So it's just the emphasis that's put, that that's put on each trophy. Oh, nice turn by Ricardo McIntosh. Gets by a second challenge, couldn't get by a third. Here's Panton now. Panton. Got by a read. Couldn't quite blow by Pusey. Ricardo McIntosh, one of those players for Karen that you always expect more of. 
generally does very well, especially in the first round scores. Most of his goals there, we've seen that in the last two or three seasons, but it tends to fade away at the back end. Of course, his talents are sheer. Sanjay Williams thinking about the shot. I think he's still thinking about it. <laughs> Here he's again trying to force his way through. Now he's in position. Yep. And he's casually picks it up. It's fine. Javed Ellison threads it through to Shaquille Smith, who, who didn't expect it at all. in this game that kind of uh, likes to ruin the lines, pull the defense wide and create gaps and opportunities for his teammates. They don't really have that kind of player. Clearly trying to get by Tremaine Simpson who does well in his recovery. Just a minute of stoppage time. Save. Again, he was marked closely. He used his power to get by Tremaine Simpson and far in an effort. We call him Power, Nicky Daly, that's his nickname. And you certainly see why. Great strength in those legs, Nicky Daly. turns his opponents very well. Well, that's pretty much it for the first half in this Interscholastic Olivia Shield final between the Manic of Champions, Kingston College, and Clarendon College, the Lacostico Kingpins. We are yet to see a goal. As both teams actually had a few opportunities in the opening stanza. Star players really haven't come to the fore. Trayvon Reed did hit the upright on one occasion, and he did come closest to KC number 10. Well, after 45 minutes, it's Clarendon College 0, Kingston College 0. Sydney McFarland, assistant coach at Clarendon College. Now we're seeing a lot of individual plays from Clarendon College. In the midfield, we see um, players trying to go for goal instead of supplying the ball. Um, what do you tell your players now at halftime? Well, I think we need to refocus and start back what we normally do. We normally play the ball, build from the back, then come to the midfield, and then we go through the forward. But what is happening now that you can see is that we are playing the ball from the back over, over our midfield, and our midfield is out of the game totally. So that is what is causing all this problem for us. For KC, they are doing much better because they are keeping the ball a little bit better in their midfield and supply. So we just need to get back to our type of game, which is playing at the back, keep moving it around until we get the opportunity to come to the midfield and then go to the forwards. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Sydney McFarland there joining me now is Raymond Watson of Kingston College. Now, I see you wearing your Christmas hat. What are you going to pull out of the goodie bag for us today? Well, there's no Harry Rogers, certainly. So, I'm thinking of doing at Kingston at the moment. Uh, probably another five, ten minutes, or probably immediately, as, as soon as I go to the children's room and say a few things. Uh, but definitely doing at Kingston will be coming in. We'll be removing Ronaldo Banks at, at some time. We'll be removing Ronaldo Banks. But doing at Kingston, so we'll be there, and you're possibly going to see Renato and Campbell sometime during the game also. No, Kasim Priestley, he's on the bench. He's not okay enough to play. I'll tell you this. 
when I go to the changing room and speak with him, you may see if that's a decision will be made at the changing room. Um, he's kind of down under the weather, but it all depends on how he's feeling. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. Raymond Watson, they are always willing to give us the information on what they're planning to do at halftime in Kingston College's camp. While Clarendon College, they're hoping to go back to their style of play, playing the ball from the back and supplying it to the front. This is the Olivia Shield final, the final game of the 2018 school boy football competition. We're going to take a break. When we return, we have highlights from the first half, and I'll be in the start. This is Island Car Rent, our world class Jamaican company, and we know just how to make you feel at home, like family, and this is our island, Jamaica. Whatever the reason, come explore paradise with us. For business, for leisure, because island people take TV said, keep it locked. Woke up this morning, feeling so blessed. Yes, 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 the world is in yours for the taking. Said a little voice in my head. Keep it up full. Love, Charlie. That's the power. <laughs> Are you planning a weekly event? Are you a club promoter, a dancehall promoter, a business entrepreneur, an artist, a producer? Well, what are you waiting for? Call our office now, 876-966-2897 or 876-894-4665. You can also WhatsApp us at 876-894-4665. Email us at bojtv at live.com. Advertise with us, boost your events, and watch your business grow. for this Olivia Shield final between Carolina College and Kingston College. It's nil all in this Olivia Shield final, the battle between the Manicum Champions and the, the Cost Cup winners. And we have a lot of things to go through this uh, half time, including an old Manning and all the Cost Cup uh, 11 and squad. And this is actually my old Manning team, just to go through it quickly. J.D. White in goal, uh, Jamal Pusey of KC also there, Giovanni Leng, Jordan Petrukin, Emilia Rousseau, Cassine Priestley, Shepard Denton, Trayvon Reed, Norman Campbell, Santa Moy Taylor, and Demorne Hutchinson. And of course, the head coach is Ludler Bernard. And of course, see the substitutes there, Shaquan Davis, uh, the goalkeeper from High Dell, Ronaldo Cephas, Markovic Brown, uh, Rohan Beadle, Fakibi Farkerson, Daniel Williams, and Allington Franson. So I challenge your all the Costa Cup team, Chris Taylor. <laughs> To a duel. What do you what have formation for are you playing, by the way? I'm actually playing a 4-2-3-1 formation. And what are you doing? I'm playing a 4-3-3. Three, three. I have hmm. Tafari Chambers in goal from Clarendon. Shaquan Reed is my right back. Sanjay Williams and Calvin Gardner, my two centre backs from Clarendon and Cornwall, respectively. Duran Panton, who you're seeing here today, he is from Clarendon. He will play left back. Lamar Walker, Andre Gale from Garvey Maceo, and Shavon McDonald in the middle of the park for me. And Aidan Jacomba, Nicky Daly, and Ronaldo Webster from Steps complete my forward lineup. That's what some 46 and 19, 65 goals in my top three. Of wow. course, Javel Coley from Mile Gully, Mar Marlanda Maxwell from Manchester, Joel Wilson from Rome, Tevin Cheese from Dintel, Clive Wedderburn from Charlemont, and Seth Coy White, my reserve goalkeeper from Garvey Masia, complete my substitutes. I'm coached by. Dr. Dean Weatherly. Well, that's that's rather interesting. 
your starting lineup. And um, <laughs> I actually believe that my old Manning Cup team would, would better yours in any matchup at any venue. But you would always believe that. I would always Until believe that. match happens. All right. <laughs> Fine. Let's take a look at the, what happened in the, this first half. As they take a look at the water halftime highlights of this Olivia Shield final, Chris Taylor. Yeah. And not much peace in the team. This resulted from a kind of corner, actually. And Ellis found himself in an unusual centre-back position. Committed a foul 2-1 for the team. Bringing down Unika Allen. And this was the best chance of the half. It fell to Trayvon Reed. Excellent technique with the right foot from an interesting angle. An angle that would have suited. It went for the far corner. And very unlucky not to score, certainly. Poor keeper. Court beaten. And Kingston College will continue to come forward. This would be the best shot for Nico Allen. Should have been hitting the target from there. Ten goals on the season. Long since the first round for the former Monroe boy, Nico Allen. And just didn't keep his head down and lifted it well over the bar in the end. Kingston College, they would continue to get look-ins and it would fall to Nico Allen yet again. This with the left boot comfortably wide. And goalkeeper Alston Cork had that covered as well. And Allen unable to put that on target. Lamar Walker, very good in the middle of the field, breaking up play very well. And this was one of his lazy runs through the middle of the park, cut on to the right foot. But unfortunately for him, couldn't get it on target. He's had two of those runs so far, two of those shots, unable to get them on target. Nicky Daly could find the target with that one, but it was well saved by Nathaniel Francis getting down well. Nil all at half time. One shot on target from Clarendon College. It came from Nick Hugh Daly. None on target for Kingston College from their six attempts. Ten fouls between the two. Two yellow cards both shown to Clarendon College. And they have been offside twice as well. Three corners all enjoyed by Clarendon. And they have 53% of the possession. But we look to see more ingenuity, more 18 yard action in the second half. Clarendon nil, Kingston College nil. We go to the water break from the stands with Shawana Banks. Keeps him playing again, heads to the byline, pulls it across, 
This is Island Car Rentals. We are a world-class Jamaican company, and we know just how to make you feel at home, like a family. And this is our island, Jamaica. Whatever the reason, how explore paradise with us. For business, for pleasure, because island people take better care of you. Attention breast cancer patients. If you or a loved one underwent chemotherapy to treat breast cancer and then suffered permanent hair loss, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. The chemotherapy drug Taxotere has been linked to permanent hair loss in breast cancer patients. Call right now. Call 1-800-550-3160. The call and the consultation are free. That's 1-800-550-3160. Have you ever done the limbo dance? Perhaps you have. But do you know where this back bending dance came from? Well, the limbo dance is a traditional folk dance that originated on the island of Trinidad. Limbo became popular during the 1940s and 50s when the Western world began to gravitate towards the sweet sounds of calypso music. So, the next time you are trying to see how low you can go, remember, the Twin Island Republic gave us the famous Limbo. Oh, limbo, limbo like me. Limbo. <laughs> This is Island Car Rentals. We are a world-class Jamaican company. And we know just how to make you feel at home. Like family. And this is our island, Jamaica. Whatever the reason, come explore paradise with us. For business or leisure, because island people take better care of you. And you're watching scene, you know why? You could cook up your foot and go if you want. One, one, see. Rikasa is Sukasa. From the reach up to Soka. Yeah, yeah. You're not moving your ways by chance. No. It's the redeem, the redeem. Welcome back to the National Stadium for this Interscholastic Olivia Shield final between the 
the Fat Cup champions, Clarendon College, and the Manic Cup champions, Kingston College. We get to see a goal in this one, and the second half begins now. And it's going to be Kingston College kicking towards downtown Kingston, and Clarendon College now kicking uh, towards uh, the hills. And there has been a change made by Kingston College. They've actually taken out Ronaldo Manson, he's been replaced by that young man there, Green Atkinson. That's what the assistant coach was speaking about at the half time interval with Juan Evans. Saying that he very much could be the ace in the whole for Kingston College. It is very much an attacking change. Atkinson expects to go further the park for the famed purples. He was one I was speaking about earlier in the contest, saying that uh, he has won all the titles at the football level for Kingston College. You have the 13 Pepsi, you have the 16 Colts, and of course the under 19 Manning Cup. Yeah, Pepsi is the under 14, not under 13, but yep, the junior level. Dwayne Atkinson. And Raymond Watson has been the junior coach as well. Well, sometimes we can't tell. Uh, there's a flag on the plate. It's going to be a free kick to Clarendon College. Between Ellis and Allen, Javel Ellis. This time he's the one that's found. There was a crunching tackle and I believe he in the first half and he committed and got a yellow card for his trouble. Well, there was a rugby challenge somewhere there. The free kick goes in favor of Cave of Wheel and Kingston College. eventually for the Olympics in final. That's an almost full. Attentive ball set up. Morrison behind the kick. Delivers this one inside. And then Gwen Atkins will have been coming in the back post. Beautiful delivery into the box by Jamari Morrison. Morrison, but yes, he certainly did have two hands to it, and Atkinson it spoiled the trajectory for him. Ben Atkinson, what a substitution that would have been. And he'd have been able to get that on target and into the back of the net. Cork has been quite an able substitute for Tafari Chambers. Thus far, there's your Baron Morrison. He's written that lovely ball into the box. We haven't seen much of his left foot in this game so far. As you're seeing, spectator numbers have certainly gotten a lot more dates as the match has gone on. to walk up Granville does well to keep his footing so this is what we spoke about Pusey versus Panton hmm. Panther with the throw. Yep. That's your right back and my left back. Your striker really trying to get it inside the area. <laughs> Ellis. Sent out to the Brown. Brown delivers inside and the header is 
Freund von Macintosh. Schöner Vorher mit Karl Macintosh. Hasn't been amongst the goals that much since the first round. Just one in the semi-final. Should have done better with this goal. All alone. Right on the penalty spot. Oh, mis misjudged his job, Ricardo McIntosh. I say he's a man of multi-talent, Ricardo McIntosh. Plays cricket at the under, has played at the under 15, under 17, and under 19 level for Jamaica in terms of cricket. In fact, in the summer he played for the Jamaica under 19 team. He opened the batting for the Jamaicans. Scored two half centuries in the regional competition as well. Alongside Kurt McKenzie. There he is, Ricardo McIntosh, a very talented cricketer and very talented footballer. But he's been playing Manning Cup now from the age of what, 14? Yep. Oh, sorry, the Costa Cup. Here's the liver inside him and a vital hand here. Did Alston Court. Crucial deception there by the Clarendon College goalkeeper. McLeod. Smith lost it, Walker on it, Walker finds the cue Daly, Daly, it's a risk of the play, and the free kick will go against Daly. Edmondson has done a really good job this evening on the cue Daly, much better job that is, <laughs> is opposite number five, Hyman from Cornwall College. And he's shown a lot more strength and good positioning. Still think at times he does get a bit too tight, but he's recovered well. Shaheen Edmondson. I actually realized I was actually robbing Ricardo McIntosh of a year. He's actually played five seasons in the yeah, one one. yeah, so he's been playing from the age of 13. Pretty much long in the tooth as far as that goes. 13, that would be about grade 9. Got a Macintosh. Sanjay Williams. We'll get back to that in just a moment. It's a great on here for Kickford Bolt and Trayvon Reed. Reed delivers it fine. Atkinson couldn't get there. He was well marshaled by Sanjay Williams, who we were just about to speak about. Because he partners Ricardo McIntosh in the Jamaica under 19 cricket team as well, Sanjay Williams, who was a part of my all the custom team has had an outstanding season at the centre back role. Let's see it here. He was who was tracking Glenn Atkinson right there. Well, had that been a little more accurate the pass, I think Atkinson would have gotten there ahead of him. But yes, he's a member of the Jamaica under 19. He's a fast bowler at the under 19 level. But here's Lamar Walker. Just running into traffic, in particular, Shaheen Edmondson. Edmondson using his bait there to overpower Lamar Walter. Does seem very miserable every time he sees things. <laughs> Lamar oh. Walker. Very unhappy that he doesn't get the cause, but he doesn't listen to his work rate by any means. Walker and Daly, I, I kid you not, not the happiest. <laughs> Not the footballers. <laughs> they expect to get every call. Here's the Bernard, the head coach of that Kingston College. Sometimes, based on that support, that it was in case he's a co ed school. Oh, he's kept it in. Lamar Walker. No, he didn't. The excitement was for just a brief moment. The 
flag goes up for offside. If the score is locked after 90 minutes, there is no extra time. We go straight to penalties. Daly picks it up. He does really well, trying to get by a third. And injured himself in the process. Brown picks it up. And then he lost it. Goes the other way. And then Allen, looking to deliver. Wasn't the best delivery of it. Did come across to Rido, continues his run. The given goal didn't work on that occasion. But they're throwing the Kingston College on this near side. The Daly needs some assistance from the bench. Simpson and Edmondson, and they've got him the important touches when necessary, and just put him in, putting him a little off balance as well. They've shared the load, Simpson and Edmondson, and that probably his best effort of the game, as you see here. Tracked very well, a bit frustrated. It's been a long evening. As Kingston College trying to go for deliverance, looking again for Atkinson. Oh, this is Jamar Morrison. Jamar Morrison sends it up wide. Nika Allen heads to the byline, beautifully done, trying to put it back. Gets the point of a Kingston College. Nice play by Nika Allen. As I said, the link-up player from him has been very good. It's just when he's got his moment now to score, that's where we see the lack of confidence from the KC number nine. Lamar Wolf has it, trying to get by Nathan Thomas, and does. Thomas trying to track him down, recovers. And uh, leave a touch there by Nathan Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. And he was trying to play the advantage for the officials and then he lost it. Lamar Walker is known for his free kicks. Haven't seen a lot from him this year. is also there. The two man ball set up. Walk up. He was passing to the goalkeeper on that occasion. Keeper in turn gives up possession. Now it's McIntosh with it now. Daily asking for it. Just 
muchísimo. Good work, I came on me. Trying to go alone. Probably need some assistance. Trayvon Reed does well. Does really well. Find Samari Morrison. Atkinson begging for it. Almost got to him, the clearance made by Clarendon College. Nice play by Trayvon Reed, good perseverance by the KC number 10. Traded the pass nicely, but the pass from Jamari Morrison just a little bit behind Atkinson. Needed to have played that in front of Atkinson so he could have walked onto it or ran onto it. Instead, he made it easier for the defense line of Clarendon. Stoddard has it for CC. Kid Roy Stoddard. Finding Nikki Daly. Daly again. It's followed on this occasion by Tremaine Simpson. <laughs> He's having a hard day. Nikki Daly. But I think he likes the challenge. Yeah, just with time by Simpson. The challenge was on. Waited a little bit too long, Simpson, and the ball had gone away. So Amico Allen is out, Ronaldo Robinson replaces him. Seven goals on the season for Ronaldo Robinson, the KC number 11. Here's a free kick inside, headed by Nicky Utani, right on the target. that he has. Very close to making the bonus sequel. <laughs> 21 goals on season four. If you really scored one of Clarendon's two goals in the final against Conroe College as well. Javel Ellis. He was coming from the north side position. Walk up, fly the pressure. Walk inside the box. 
Still a chance. It's with Nicky O'Daly. Daly deflected over. And it came off the head of Lamar Walk as well. <laughs> well, it would have been interesting had it not touched Walk, but what would have happened? Good defensive work by Walker, good pace to get inside the box. That was a good save play. by Nathaniel Francis as well. Yeah. Daly a bit lucky there. That shot was on target. I would like to think that Francis probably had it covered. Could have been offside anyway. Yeah. Walker just wanted to get his head out of the way. Game opening up just a bit. Here's a shot from distance, ramping over the bar. Jamari Morrison. Let him lose a shot in anger. And down his left foot as well. Good power behind it, but always going over the goal of Boston Court. First time, right idea. Just a little bit too much height. Brown couldn't quite find Granville, but here he is on the ball now. Such a poor ball. Kicks of college through almost. Great defending by Sanjay Williams yet again. No doubt that Dwayne Atkinson is quicker than him. But his positioning as a centre back was excellent. Look at this. That was a nice pass by Trayvon Reed. And Atkinson certainly had the run on William Williams. He just showed great strength the centre back. Now the number 12. Walker. Nicholson. Away from Edison dedication. Oh, it's almost got through, it has got through the chance. That's not a begging. They can't believe it. He can't believe it. You better believe it. Great chance for the substitute, Ronaldo Robinson. And should have been doing better. Still waiting for Casey's first shot on target. And that wasn't about to change the statistic. Statistic. <sighs> Great opportunity for him, looking for his eighth goal of the season. Just panicked at the last minute, took his eye off the ball. Lost his balance as well, Robinson. But again, a nice pass to create the chance. Smith over the top. Atkinson. Williams got a touch there. <laughs> he got more than a touch. He got the hand in his mouth as well. Sanji Williams. 
continues morning cricket as a very aggressive fast bowler at the youth level, Asante Williams. Very aggressive in his style of defending, but he is the one hurt this time. Him in here. Not sure where the hit out was a, a leg. Yeah, the leg of Atkinson seemed to have caught him in the neck area. Or on the jaw, I think. Yeah. Often Perk is also down, by the way. And Williams is back on his feet. There he is. <laughs> looks very angry. He wants to get back on. So it as is. Green picks it up. 
Looking for Robinson. Robinson wins it. Nathan Thomas. Trying to find Granville. Safety first. Uh, Edmondson. And Edmonds, both Edmondson and Sims have certainly learned when they're in a, a more advanced position outside of the 18 and they're followed daily. They just give in that little room, allow it daily to then turn and maybe make a pass, realizing that daily is quite reluctant to run at them in that way because he's not that kind of forward. So. I think the adjustment has been good from Casey in that light. So that's where Conwell gives you that even outside of the box, they allowed him to turn them too easily and then he had to run on goal. There's a Bristol CEO, the white shirt, Justin Moore, and the card full out for Jamaica International. To his right. An ambassador of Schoolboy football. Is Ricardo Fuller this season? Digital schoolboy ambassador Ricardo Fuller. A lot of experience. He's played at the highest level. Here's Walker. Walker looking for the space. Find his captain, Tashay Brown. It's quite a kick. Take it. It's a fifth corner for Clarendon College. Can they make it count? Delivered inside. Lamar Walker with the head up. Didn't go too far from him. Ellis looking for options. Simpson <laughs> was the best from him. Skill there. It's with Jamari Morrison. Morrison through to Reed. Having a save. And Reed goes down too easily. But what a stop that was by Austin Cork. Take a look at what took place with Kingston College. And Trayvon Reed's effort was blocked. Yep, Hudson Court doing some really good work in goal. And then Francis trying to work on the pain. Try and continue. This is where he got the injury as he tried to collect. He collided with Lamar Walker. Mm -hmm. 
big set up there. Renee Campbell has come on to Shaquille Smith by the way, the Kingston College series. Renee Campbell. Cuts. Andre Blake. From McLaren College goalkeeper, Andre Blake, and Jamaica's, national, Jamaica's number one goalkeeper. So Renee DeCampbell has come on for Kingston College. Five goals to his name. This one is delivered, and there's too much on it. Lamar Walker, Walker decided to shoot this one from distance, came off McLeod, and it's going to be a corner kick. We have at least eight minutes to go. Will a winner be found in that time? They've taken the corner kick short. Sent high inside the box. Williams getting a header, which didn't have a lot of power. And Nathaniel Francis sends it long. Throw into Kingston College, they take it quickly. Jamar Morrison on it. Morrison delivers, and out comes Kirk. <laughs> Who misses the fire chambers? I'm sure they still do. Of course, has proven to be an adequate replacement so far. Atkinson can't eat his barker. What a ball that is! Atkinson forced wide and trying to get that ball around the practice spot where a couple of Casey players were waiting. Corky left. Forced him to go wide, but the chance was lost for Atkinson. What a pass that was again. Looking to come through the middle Kingston College. They've got the pass through on the last couple of occasions. Again, lovely pass by Jamari Morrison, beautiful weight, but Cork did well, closed the angle very quickly on Atkinson, forced him to go wide. Just too wide again. Here's Jamari Morrison, losing possession, winning it back. Campbell to McLeod, back to Campbell. Cloud has some space to work with. Kingston College forcing to pass the ball around. It's not a bad build up at the moment. The pass was wrong though. There's going to be a change made by Clarendon College and it's Granville who will come up. Redford comes up. Came on in the final as well, Nolan Redford. Part 
to believe that these two teams have amassed 136 goals between them. And yet, we're unable to see one. In this match, you mean? In this match, but, yeah. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> it's been a long evening and a long season for <laughs> it really has. It has strengthened the fact, the point in their all around ability in terms of defensive work as well, because in some 34 games between the two, they have only conceded 14 goals, 21 clean sheets in those 34 games. Maybe another one. Exactly. I don't like to think anybody who scores at this point will probably win the game. Fortunate to still have the ball. Nicholson. Nicholson! What a time to get on the score sheet! A warrior team may conquer Kingston after all! the area. He fires that one in. And Clarendon College with just a couple minutes to go. They have the lead in this Olympia Shield final. Great strike. Great strike from Andre Nicholson. We've seen a lot of inaccurate shooting so far this afternoon. But Andre Nicholson could not have hit that any better with his instep. Perfect technique. And you could see how the ball sailed into the net. That he kicked right through that, no spin on the ball, and he was well beaten. He was well beaten, Nathaniel Francis. The substitute scores, good change by Lenny Hyde. It worked for Clarendon. And as I said, chances are who scores at this point will win the game. Let's see. Andre Nicholson from off the bench into the hearts of every Clarendon College supporter. May just have done it, may very well just have done it for Clarendon College. It's been 14 years since the Costa Cup team has held the Olivia Shield by themselves. 2004, the last with Glenn Muir. They could well be changing that back. Jerry, he's been a workhorse in this match. Personally, may not have had the fruits of his labor, but he has assisted his team greatly in this one. Can Kingston College come back? They did it in the Manicom final against St. George's College, turning the game on its head. Can they do it against Clarendon College in this Olympia Shield final? It's his moment right now. It's their moment right now. With just minutes to go in this Olympia Shield final. Not a lot that Nathaniel Francis could have done about the shot. From that ball came off the foot of Andre Nicholson. I was saying if that was on target, that was certainly a goal. It was just a beautiful kick, his technique perfect. Couldn't have done it any better, Nicholson. The height, the pace, the accuracy, everything about it. Key point. 
and Francis was really just diving for the cameras. Kingston College have made a change, we'll tell you who has come on in just a moment, but what we can tell you is that three minutes of stoppage time are to be played. challenge on Atkinson, the referee says no. Andre Wright has come on, just to confirm the number 12 for Kingston College. There he is, Wright, to take the throw. Morrison, It's going to be a throw in to Clarendon College. They have roughly about a minute to hold on. Kingston College, if they are to come back, it would be their first shot on target. We're yet to see a shot on target for them. Ball almost played through here. Nolly Beckford couldn't get there. Last chance saloon for Kingston College now. Anyway, we'll do for Clarendon College. Less than 30 seconds remaining. Oh, it's gone through. Atkinson couldn't pick it up. And it'll go the other way. Lamar Walker. Can't find the cue daily. Walker has done enough. By our watch, three minutes have elapsed. Kingston College with the final chance, surely. It's cleared away. And that is it. They had to do it away to win the trophies this season. In the den of Montego Bay, they won the Lacosta Cup. In the fire of Kingston, they won the Olivia Shield. And Clarendon College will rejoice. With all of Chapleton. They have represented the rural era teams well. And for the first time since 2004, a rural era school has won outright the interscholastic Olivia Shield. And it's that young man who did it, Andre Nicholson, with a peach of a strike. The last time Clarendon College held the Olivia Shield by themselves, Lenny Hyde was a player of that team <laughs> in 1977-78. They held it in 1998 with the noon. Joint holders. And now again in 2018. What a strike to win it from that man, Andre Nicholson, in the 87th minute. Came on as a substitute. Brilliant. Super soft. Definitely the game changer. Well, let's have a look at the full match highlights. It was Kingston College who were coming forward early in the game. Amazingly, through the 93 minutes we saw, would not have a shot on target. That was a foul by Javel Ellis. This was the closest they came. Excellent strike from Trip Henry. Great technique with the inside of the right foot to the far corner. 
and Cork was beaten, but he couldn't find the goal. They would come forward again. This would be the best chance for Nico Allen. Ten goals in the first round, none since. And his drought would continue over the bar. And Kingston College still struggling to find the target. Nicky O'Daly ruling the defense of Kingston College well on a few on this one of the very few occasions he shot on target but well saved. And Lamar Walker, he was a beast in the middle of the park, working well, winning the balls, then driving forward. Nicky O'Daly would get this opportunity as well. Looked like he was heading on target, but he came off the head of Lamar Walker and over the bar. Save for Kingston College. Then this from Jamari Morrison on his strong left foot. But over the bar yet again. Ronaldo Robinson, he came on as a substitute and his left foot in attempt couldn't find the bar. And we were wondering where Kingston College left their shooting boots. Ronaldo, this was Trayvon Reed. Nice pass through the centre. Great opportunity. Well saved. By Cork on that occasion, he had an excellent game. And then Clarendon, look at that from Andre Nicholson. Oh, that's a beautiful strike. Not much backlift. Excellent technique. And look how his foot followed through that ball nicely. There was no wild swing from Nicholson. Just straight technique with the instep. And it leathered into the top corner. And he deserves all that celebration. Clarendon 1 0 over Kingston College, their fourth hold on the Olivia Shield. 19 attempts, 6 on target for them. None on target for Kingston College from their 9. Amazing. That's the first for the season. 18 fouls between the two. Two yellow cards for Clarendon College. It won't matter now. Six corners they enjoyed and two for KC. Just a slight advantage in terms of the possession. 51 to 49. And Clarendon College win by a goal to nil. Shawana Box is with our MVP. Thank you so much, Chris. I believe we did the top 10 goals too quickly because this young man, our MVP, Andre Nicholson, he scored a beauty to hand Clarendon College in the Olivia Shield title. How does it feel? Well, it feels really great, really great too. This is my first, first time I've ever been to this one after like, it's a competition. To, oh to know that you came out here and you scored the winner. Yes, yes. A really good, a very great feeling, a very great feeling. Now, Andre Roper, brand manager of KFC, he has something for you and he also wants to say something to you. Andre, one of the goals of the season. Congratulations, were you man of the match? Well deserved the Costa Cup title, well deserved Olivia Shield title. Congrats. From Andre to Andre, our MVP Andre Nicholson joining me now is Ludlow Bernard, head coach of Kingston College. Ludlow, a very interesting statistic I just saw. No shots on target for Kingston College. That almost sounds impossible. Yeah, man. There are a couple on target that the goalkeeper saved. He made some very good saves in the second half. One from Trevor Reed and one from Ronaldo Robinson. It's, it's, a, it's a classic case today of of us missing some very glorious opportunities and, and Clarendon College capital, capitalizing and probably one of a few that they would have gotten. But I thought today it was a very good game of football for the crowd. We did entertain. Um, we did try to get goals to go ahead, goals in and before they score. We thought that we had it. But um, they found something and put us to them. Now let low, Kasim Priestley, your very inspirational captain, he was missed from today's game. Also that injury to Arthur Rogers, who you could call upon at any time to deliver for you. How much did that affect the outcome? Yeah, it, 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 uh, it affects it affects our performance to some extent. But then again, I still believe in the boys that we had out there. I think they gave a talent effort. They would have wanted to do it for Kasim and Ari. It's just a slide. Um, these are some of the lessons to be learned that some of the key persons are around, some persons need to step up. We got some very good opportunities that we capitalized on them early. We would have been, probably I would have taken the last interview. <laughs> Congratulations on your Man in Cup win. Yeah. All the best, Ludlow. Thanks, and it was indeed a very good season. Thanks. All right, Ludlow Bernard, their head coach of Kingston College, joining me now to welcome the technical director of Clarendon College. 